I, so I like exist still. School started, I don't know, life went busy, I went to the Bahamas. Um, yeah, I just haven't had time to make videos. And I have tried to make a couple and they just were kind of like ghetto, I don't know. Anyway, so today we have red velvet cupcakes. They were pretty simple, I think they turned out good. But I don't know because I don't like chocolates. I don't know how they taste. That's it. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. I don't know. That's it. Right, enjoy. Bye. To start, we're going to need three and one fourth cups of flour, one third, one three fourths cups of sugar, two eggs, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder and apple cider vinegar, one and a half cups of milk, one teaspoon of salt, two and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder, and 12 tablespoons of unsalted butter, and of course, red food coloring. So you gotta start by putting your butter and sugar together and just mixing it until it's all fluffy. So it makes it about three minutes or so. And just to let you know, I cut this recipe in half, so that's why it's less. And then while that's mixing, we're gonna mix up our cocoa powder, our red food coloring, and vanilla, which is about a fourth tablespoon of vanilla. And I didn't have enough food coloring, so it looks all pasty. This is how your butter should look, all fluffy. Add in your eggs one at a time. I only have one egg. Uh, and then add in your cocoa mixture and it should turn out this color. And then slowly add your flour and then your milk and then your flour. And scrape the edges of the bowl and then mix your apple cider vinegar and baking powder and we'll fizz. And then just dump it all in and continue to mix. And then of course bake at 350 for about 18 to 20 minutes. For our frosting, we're gonna need four ounces of butter, six ounces of cream cheese, and a fourth a tablespoon of vanilla. And you're going to slowly um, add in four cups of powdered sugar. Just start by making a little mound in the middle to give us some height and then just swirl around and I'm using the Wilton 1M tip. And then just crumble some of the cake mix on top to make them look cute and you're all finished. So I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I ain't got nothing else to say. Have a fabulous day. I'm. So, that was so stupid to say.